in this video, I want to talk about the exciting news about Aberration and what we can possibly expect from this map. Now, all in all, I think this map is going to be absolutely outstanding. Now, hopefully you guys will be able to run it, you know, the best. Hopefully it's still going to look good if you are using a lower PC. Now, if you are actually having trouble when it comes to running Ark, I do have a video which uh, is in my description box. And I talk about in that video that you can use GeForce Now. This isn't sponsored, it's just... Uh, there if you guys, you know, need a bit of extra help running the game. And also, it's what I use at the moment to run Aberration until I get a new PC. This is a bit of old news, but I just want to read through it just quickly, and then we'll dive deep into what we think Aberration is going to be like and look like. Our next major core content release this year will be Aberration Ascended. An eerily beautiful, derelict, malfunctioning arc with an elaborate underground biome system and the all new next chapter of Bob's Talk Tales. So that'll just be like the other pack that we had on Scorched Earth, so it'll be pretty much the next thing of that. And I do believe I think we're also getting some blimps, so I think we'll be able to possibly fly around. But anyway, that's a paid DLC, so if you guys want to purchase it, that's up to you. To give this special map attention it deserves, we have moved the launch to September the 4th. Our team is refining the process to complete the remastering of the content as efficiently as possible while maintaining our quality. We apologise for the delay in bringing the beloved aberration to you, but it will be worth the wait. So honestly, I'm not too worried about that. It's probably better that they have pushed it back because, let's be honest, we don't want a release of Ark you know, an arc map and it's just completely unfinished. I felt like that when it was with the center. Honestly, I barely played on that. Uh, if you guys noticed the waterfall, it was still had all these issues and for some reason you weren't even underwater uh, near the edge of that big waterfall. But anyway, other than that, let's just dive straight in to what we think, what it's going to be like and also what we can expect from Aberration as well. So let's just talk about Ark Evolved and what Aberration was like, you know, how good the graphics were. Now, the graphics were, you know, back then they were good. I always thought that they were good. Now, Aberration is one of my favorite maps, so I'm gonna be talking highly of Aberration, seeing as it's, you know, my favorite. But uh, I do want to know what you guys think of uh, Aberration Evolved and if it is one of your favorite maps. If not, let me know what your favorite map is. When it comes to Aberration Evolved, you know, I do remember just spawning in and it was a completely different feel um, rather than, you know, spawning on the island. It was just something new and something completely different. You know, it didn't feel like you were just kind of waking up on an island. You know, it felt more like this is, oh, okay, what's what's going on here? It was that new and exciting feeling, you know, and it was kind of like, oh, okay, well, where's the sky? You know, where's what's going on? Where's the sky? But then you kind of, you know, realize that you're underground and eventually, you know, you go um, out and you can explore and it's just this new feeling and then of course you notice that it's quite a dark map so I, I kind of thought that you know they had uh, different um, different times as well so if you go into different kind of areas on the map of aberration you know they'd have just those different times um, which I thought was pretty cool as well because it's like part of the other map could be like I think it was like 10% or something like that of of like day so it was always dark and then you'd have the other side where it was pretty much most of the time 50 50 night and day kind of thing so I thought that was pretty pretty cool um, you know we've never seen anything like aberration so um, it was just a you know a really great experience 
The way they did the lighting as well, I thought was amazing, especially when you've got to go down into the radiation zone and you have to wear a hazmat suit. You know, that was pretty cool. I'm so happy that they added something like that in the game. Before, we didn't have that. You know, we had scuba gear and we did have a few, um, what was it? We had a cave that was, you know, toxic, so we had to kind of wear, you know, either our scuba gear or something to just protect us from that toxic. So that was on the island and that was pretty cool too. But Aberration was just the next best thing. You added so much different things and I think the the awesome thing that they put in into Evolved was the rock drakes. You know, they are freaking amazing. I mean, in Aberration you can't really fly in the game. You can kind of glide with the rock drakes. So stealing them was kind of a bit more of a challenge. I've seen some videos, amazing videos, of how people would just go, you know, in on themselves and use grappling hooks and stuff like that. So that was pretty impressive, but I can't imagine <laughs> stealing an egg on my own. I don't even remember how I did it. I think it was uh, a lot of dying on uh, on my part. That feeling of getting the Rook Drake egg and then taking that first one back to your base so you've actually got something that you can, you know, glide around on. It was just that next big step for Ark. So uh, that's why I think it's just pretty impressive. I can remember when you go down, you know, even deeper and you get uh, the Reapers. Now, oh, I love the freaking reapers you know just trapping them and uh trying to trying to get a female to impregnate you now that was honestly a very big challenge um for me maybe you know for you guys it's probably quite easy but oh that was like that was awesome very hard and yeah you'd die a lot <laughs> if you didn't have the right trap yeah that was pretty pretty amazing um also, the, the way they kind of did it, you know, how you had to grow up the baby and stuff like that and you had to get certain XP, you know, when um, the Reaper Queen had impregnate you and, and all that, so pretty impressive. The bottom line here is Aberration is, honestly, I think it's absolutely the best map that they have ever released. Now, who knows? We may get a potential new and exciting map, but who knows? I don't think it can top Aberration. Uh, I do want to know what you guys actually think about that. When it comes to how Aberration is going to be remastered, honestly, if you think of how Aberration looks right now in Evolved, it's gonna look so much better. <laughs> Hence, that's if your PCs, uh, you know, Xbox, console you know you guys can hopefully run it so hopefully it's not gonna be uh, buggy look who's to say I think when when it gets released it may be a little bit buggy because it's new so hopefully you know after a couple of weeks that'll settle down and then it'll be really smooth to play but anyway all in all, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to join the membership, that is up to you to become a Plant Mix member. And as always, I will see you in the next one.